welcome back everyone today i'm going to be going over a few of the different light engine options that are out there on the market we're going to go on amazon and i'll show you some of the cheaper ones and then i'm gonna take you over to the more expensive ones that are out there then we're going to get up close and personal with a light engine kit that i have here at the house to help you make a decision on which one you should buy and what to expect let's check it out Okay, so we're here on Amazon.com. All I did was I typed in fiber optic light engine. You can also type in starlight uh, light engine or fiber optic starlight. It'll give you the results. And we're going to scroll down. We're going to start off with this first one here. This is a pretty common one. It's a pretty simple one. You can usually tell because I'll usually have this cylindrical shape right here. Kind of like an oval shape, I guess. And the thing with these are they're very tiny. They're great if you're wanting to place these uh, tucked in somewhere like in a tight space. I've seen a lot of people tuck these in uh, inside the actual headliner so they don't have to run any, uh, any fiber optics to the trunk or they don't have to run any fiber optics to anything else. The only problem that I would caution you on that is that if this light engine ever breaks on you, they you're gonna have to remove your entire headliner to get this light engine out of that headliner so if it's worth it to you that's a call you're gonna have to make you can see on the remote here uh they usually have very simple they don't have, you're not gonna get a twinkle feature with this light engine all you're gonna get is it's gonna be able to change colors you're gonna get the bluetooth and control the colors with that you're gonna get some simple jumps you can see there's jump three and jump seven that is a three color jump or a seven color jump. And basically all that is, is the lights will, they'll be red, green, blue, or pink, blue, yellow, and it'll skip between three different colors. Or it'll jump between seven different colors. The fade three and fade seven is exactly what that sounds like. Instead of jumping from this color to that color, it's going to do... Uh, like blue slowly fade into red slowly fade into green so that's what that means and that's three color fade and seven color fade flash is just gonna allow your lights to just flash real crazy breath allows your lights to get really really bright and then go very dim and then go really bright and then very dim that's what breath is and the music on and off is actually a little microphone that's built into the light engine and that allows the lights to kind of go with the bass or go with the music. This light engine kit here comes with an AC adapter and a car plug. So you can actually wire this one to your car or plug it into the wall if you want to do any type of home applications. This one is on the cheaper end. They're going to usually start around 50, 60, 70 bucks and it really just depends you can make them as expensive as you want or as cheap as you want based on the kit that you're going to get the more strands you get the 200 pieces is the strand count so the more strands you get the more expensive the kit will get also the more you complicate the strands see this one has a uh, zero zero point zero three inches that's the diameter of the fiber optic that's a pretty thin fiber optic. But look at this kit over here. This one actually comes with a zero, a zero three, and it comes with a size zero four and a zero six. The zero six, I believe, is a bigger one. I believe, but I'm not sure. Uh, but you're gonna get three different sizes with this kit. And uh, this one is 9.8 feet for this one. 430 pieces and 9.8 feet. This one's 450 at 9.8 feet, and you're getting, what is this? The Oh, this one also comes with a meteor shower, so it's $139 for a meteor shower as well. Um, so yeah, look, so the material there, it's aluminum and plastic casing, which is going to be your light engine. It tells you all about it. You know, you can go through that. But the one thing I really wanted to highlight on this one is that these are on the cheaper end and they fit in a very compact place see here's another one also very simple this is another one 
It does not. I don't think it has a twinkle. Every time I see these, they never have the twinkle feature. But it does give you two outlets. So you can actually attach some fiber optics on the left and attach some fiber optics on the right. So if you can probably have 450 stars on the left one, 450 stars on the right one. So you can actually kind of double the amount of stars you get in one light engine. Now, while you may be able to get more stars with this one, you are sacrificing at the cost of you're not getting the twinkle feature. I need to look. I need to make sure. I don't think you get the twinkle feature on this one. Let's see what the remote says. So it does have the smart app. It does have two lights. Yeah, I don't think you get the twinkle feature on this one. Let's click. Let's watch the video. Yeah, see, so you're gonna get you're gonna get the fade and you're gonna get the the light jump, but you won't get the twinkle feature. Again, you just want to look at the, all you're really looking for is if the cost is great for you and if the strands are the amount of strands you want. Uh, you're also going to have other light engine kits that are like this. This is going to be your shooting star meteor kit. I actually have one of these that I can show you here in a little while. They usually come with a Bluetooth capability and a remote. Each one of these numbers on this remote does a different sequence for the meteor shower. So you can control the speed, make it faster and slower. If you do it on mode one, maybe like four of the holes will light up and then holes seven through 10 will light up. And if you do mode two, it might be like holes one, five and seven light up. It's It has its own pattern already in there. It kind of explains it more in depth in the instructions. You can see here, on this one here, it says like mode number one is Meteor one. And it says like fade scan, fade scan two, twinkle one, twinkle two. It has different options already programmed into it. So you just got to do it. Now with the Bluetooth capability, you're actually able to control them. Let's see if we can watch this. So just the way you saw those shooting stars is pretty much exactly how it's going to look. It has 50 pieces. Uh, what's the difference here? Oh, 9 feet, 13 feet, 16 feet. Uh, this is a really cool kit. I can't wait to install it myself. I just got one myself. So if you're looking for a meteor shower or um, a shooting star effect, this is going to be the kit you want to get right here. It is going to look like this. It's going to be long, cylindrical. I mean, long rectangular is going to usually have about 10 holes in it or 12 holes in it. And um, and it's going to look exactly like this. This is what you would get to install for that. They do even have uh, little plug kits that can help you install it with one of these light engines. So you can have both of them running at the exact same time. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. And I'm going to show you this one later, but I want to make sure I'm not missing any other ones. See, so these right here usually come with a twinkle effect. The silver boxes, but I don't know if this one's one. It looks kind of short. If you see a gold box or, or, or one exactly like this, about a four inch by four inch, and but it's silver though, that will usually come with a, a twinkle effect. These right here, I don't think this one does. Oh, and here's another one. So this is the one I pretty much showed you right now earlier and this is another one that i've seen a lot of people do use this one it's a small looks like a little flashlight or whatnot it only has one light in there the light does change color so you do get that usually it's going to be something static i don't know if they usually like what does this one say yeah brightness speed motor i don't know what motor it could possibly have in there Let's see. How crazy would it be if it was a starlight?
Yeah, see, so I guess this one, yeah, definitely doesn't have a twinkle effect, but it will have maybe some dimming. It might dim, it might get brighter, it might have the, the jump on it. And again, you're just gonna decide how many strands you want. You wanna make sure you double check how long of a length you need before you buy it. But this is another one, it's 85 bucks. Uh, you can see here, there's 150 pieces for 55 bucks. I would recommend if you're doing a car, my own personal preference would at least be do 430 or 450 strands at least. And uh, nine feet uh, minimum, I guess. Because unless you have a short car, then I guess go ahead and get the 6.5. But I would definitely say get the 9.8 feet. You wanna have more than enough and you can always clip it later. Let's go on over here. These are gonna range anywhere from, I wanna say the 150 price range, 150 range, and I've even seen some as high as 200 and, uh, I don't wanna say 270, but somewhere up there. And really what you're buying is the amount of string you get, uh, fiber optics. So this one has 13.1 feet, 9.8, and you're gonna notice they're all pretty standard across the board. The sizes don't really change. What does change is the widths. So like if, for instance, if I was looking for 13.1, but I only want 0 0.3 or whatever, sometimes it's gonna be hard if you're gonna be picky like that. Sometimes it's best to just find the length you need and uh, try to get some of the same, try to find one that has the strand diameters that fit your need, you know? And of course, my number one concern above everything would be how many pieces are in the kit. I would definitely wanna start somewhere in the 430 range and you can see that price is 135. So. I don't know, anything less than 430, unless you have a very small roof starlight headliner, then I wouldn't go any less than that personally. And I have a 550 kit that I'm gonna show y'all here in a second. Basically what this one does, it has the remote, it does the jumps, it does the fades in color, it does the flash, it does the breath, but it also allows you to do the twinkle effect and you can also control the motor speed with these buttons and you can also do it with the app. The cool thing is they usually will come with an extra cord for the car in case you don't wanna hardwire it. And they'll usually come with uh, an AC adapter in case you wanna plug it into your home and do some sort of project around the house with fiber optics. This one right here, uh, let's see, click on this one. Uh, the big black antenna you see here, this one is actually your Bluetooth antenna. The little cable wire you see right there is like a little a little pigtail. That one is for the actual physical remote that it comes with. This little black area right here, that's your AC adapter outlet. And it's pretty much just giving you the dimensions. And if you see right here, that little silver piece with holes, that's the, that's the light engine uh, wheel that spins and gives you the twinkle effect. Uh, yeah, so basically look at that. So it's about 155, 196 for 480 pieces. Oh, but this one, see, it comes with a meteor on it. So you're gonna wanna look at that type of stuff. Um, let me know in the comments if there's anything else you wanna know. See, here's one, it has a double, uh, double twinkle, it looks like, or it might just be one big wheel. That's actually a pretty cool one right there. I would, I would love to work on one of these right here. You could probably get like 550 strands on the top, 550 on the bottom, and uh, get like a total of a thousand strands. Yeah, look at that. See, 620, 700, 920. I might, I might actually want one of these next. That's pretty good. Anyway, I just wanted to kind of give you um, an idea of what what you're looking for. Just think uh, the small ones. You can hide them better, you can tuck them in better. A lot of people have tucked them in in the headliner. Just remember that tuck them in the headliner and if that thing breaks, I've seen people buy these things for 50 bucks on Amazon and then there they are in the comments section of the reviews and leaving horrible reviews and leaving YouTube videos about now they need to remove their headliner again because it broke. So I wouldn't go too cheap on these, but that's an option you have. I would tuck it in somewhere where you'd be able to access it quickly. This is like the, the gold one I was telling you up here. It, it's about a four by four inch silver box, it looks like. That one will probably have your twinkle effect, the Bluetooth. It'll be just the same as the gold one that's up here. Um, 
So, yeah, I would probably aim for this one, but you're going to have to find somewhere to keep it. That's a major downside on it. It's not that big, but, you know, where are you going to tuck it in, right? If you see one of these tall bricks like this, that's more than likely going to be a meteor shower or a shooting star effect. Um, anyway, that's all I really have here. So let's go jump in and get a close look at them up close. So I figured I'd give you a walkthrough on everything we're going to look at today. This is a 4x4x3 four by four by inch aluminum body light engine. This one does have the twinkle feature. You can see that antenna right there is for the Bluetooth. The little string pigtail right there is actually for the remote that it comes with. This little screw that you see right over this little hole is that screw that you use to tighten the fiber optics on there and lock them in place. And that little silver plate that you see in there with all those little holes poked into it is what cause it spins it's a wheel it spins and causes a twinkle feature right there on the front face right there in that little square that little white square that i'm zooming into right now that's actually a qr code that allows you to download the app and use your phone as a bluetooth signal using that black antenna right there and it allows you to control the colors and all the features for not only this light engine, but also the meteor shower light engine. That's the pigtail for the remote. It comes with a physical remote. And we're gonna be going through all the details on this coming up. All right, so we're coming around the back right here. And if you see those little holes right there, there's like a little section with a few holes in it. Kind of looks like a speaker. That is actually a microphone that allows it to listen to the music that is in your car or in your area. And uh, it allows the lights to uh, flicker to the beat. Okay, so now we're going to look at it while it's plugged in, so you can see how it functions. Since I was using my phone to record, I couldn't get into the app to change all the multiple colors that it offers, or use any of the different features that it can do. So we're only going to be watching this in blue, but I think you'll get the hint. Now let's take a look at the fiber optics. They come with this little piece at the end that connects to the light engine. And there is a little piece of electrical tape that kind of holds all the fibers together. Now if you did want to take this apart so you can add more fibers, you can tell mine's already stuffed. That's 550 stars right there. There's not really any room for any more stars. But if you have a less quantity like 430 and you wanted to buy a few other stars to add in there, you totally could. And here's how you do it. So you'd remove the bottom piece. You can also remove the gold piece at the end right there. Now once you loosen that bottom piece, you can tell that the fibers are now able to move. Once you tighten it, it'll clamp them in place and they won't be able to go anywhere. The only thing you do need to watch out for is right there at the gold piece. You want to make sure those fibers are flushed flat with the gold piece. Otherwise, it could affect the way the light shines through the fiber optics. Also another thing, when I was removing this gold piece, 
your fibers are going to want to spread apart so it can be a little tricky if you do remove them to crunch them up into a tight bundle like that again make sure they're flushed and then like screw it and tighten it up again it can be kind of tricky so be very careful if you remove this so you can add more stars and all you do is you tighten it up pretty good and you're good to go and just check it give it a little tug and and you're good that's pretty much it there's all there is to it that's how you add more stars so installing it is pretty simple pretty self-explanatory you put it in the hole and then you get that screw that's up there and you screw it on over the fibers and you want to just screw it just until it's tight enough then you'll give them a little tug and make sure they're not loose and that's pretty much it All right, so now let's connect it with the light turned on and we'll see what it looks like. And for anyone wondering what size my fibers are, they're 0 0.75 millimeters. They're four meters long and 550 pieces. Next up, we're going to be looking at the Meteor shower light engine. It has 12 holes with 12 LEDs, and on the top it has 12 little screws, just like the other light engine, and that holds the fiber optics into the 12 holes. Now, same as the other light engine, it does have the little antenna right there for a remote, which you won't have to use because it'll be synced up with the other light engine. And if you use your phone, it'll be synced up. But the other light engine remote actually has a section specifically for this meteor shower remote. This is actually a miniature version for the meteor shower of the fiber optics. It comes with 12 of them. I'm only showing you two. And they doesn't come Ziploc bag like that. I just separated them like that because it's easier to use. But the way you hook these up is you get the little metal prong or whatever it is, a little connector. You stick it inside that hole. And then you just stick the screw right there on the top head 
and you just tighten it up and you go all the way down the line until you do it to all 12 of them. One thing I also wanted to point out is that you can tell the fibers are visibly way thicker than the other ones. And if you're going to want to connect your Meteor shower light engine to your other light engine, you'll need one of these cables, which is supplied in the box. It has one plug for the light engine and one for the Meteor shower light engine. And then this side of the plug goes to the power source, which is your AC adapter or your car plug. So let me show you how it works. So once you have the power source, all you have to do then is just plug it into the power source. And then you get the two of these and you plug one into the orange light engine or the gold light engine and the other one will go connected into your meteor shower light engine. And then they'll both be on the same frequency so whenever you adjust the color to blue or red or white or however you want to adjust your meteor shower they'll both be connected to the same Bluetooth app or remote. Don't worry if the meteor shower light engine isn't lighting up, it'll turn on when you set it to the position on the remote or your Bluetooth phone. Uh, but this is pretty much a setup. Now let's go over and look at the uh, remote. I'm not really going to talk too much on the remote, I'll just let you read through the remote. I also have the, uh, the instruction manuals, you can go ahead and pause the video whenever you'd like and go ahead and read through them if you want. As always, I'll make sure to leave the links to all this in the description below. Alright everyone, that's going to do it for today. Make sure to let me know in the comments section which one of these light engines you're planning on buying. Um, and also make sure to ask me any questions you happen to have so I can answer. Maybe I didn't explain anything too well in the video. Make sure to drop it in the comment section below. Also make sure to check the description because I will be putting links to the products that I used. Um, if you click on those links and you happen to purchase through those links, they will help me out tremendously. So if you found this content helpful for you, the next video will be all the tools needed to install your Starlight Headliner. So please like, comment, subscribe. It will help me out with the algorithm. And um, thank you for sticking around.